is it? Lightning delivery for film learnings. Lightning delivery? What the hell? What the hell is a lightning delivery? Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning good. And today, we take on a flash effect that's been requested since the beginning of the season. Which is kind of apt, because it's how the show began. Epic Dudes asked, can you do an effect of when Barry gets struck by lightning and gains his powers? We sure can. In fact, let's do it right now. In order to complete this effect, you need to shoot your actor being struck by lightning. Now this may take some time and you may need a clock tower and the help of this man. Or you could just pretend. Let's do that. You'll also need a shot of your actor laying on the ground after said lightning strike. And lastly, let's grab the project file below that contains some assets for us to work with. All right, let's get some shout outs done and then get to it. Cue the crappy music. Okay guys, here we are back in good old After Effects. Now first off, I want to show you how I've set up my comp this time. Basically, I've scaled up my footage and done a virtual camera pan and a slight zoom. Now I'm able to do this because we're working in a full HD comp and I've shot this in 4K. Whether or not you do this doesn't affect what we're going to do here today. It's only going to change one step which I'll cover later on, so consider yourself aware. I also did want to point out guys, I won't be covering the lightning animation because I've done that many lightning animation episodes, I'm just going to be repeating myself. Instead, I'm just going to link all those episodes down below. Alrighty, considering my shot, my first step here is to head to a point in the shot where I can see my face in all its scruffy glory. Here should do. From there, let's grab that picture here marked veins, drag and drop that bad boy into our clip, and then we'll change the transfer mode to add. From there, this is just where it's a personal preference gang, you can then scale, rotate, flip, basically do anything you like until you find a sweet spot in that picture where those veins look good on your face. This is working pretty well for me. Let's then grab the pen tool and draw a rough mask, kinda like a wave. Honestly, you can draw any pattern you want really. Just make sure that when you're done, you hit F and feather it out around 75 pixels, that way our veins trail off back into our face. Now since my shot is moving, I'm now going to parent that vein layer to my footage below by using the pick whip, like so. I'll then turn on motion blur and check out a preview. Good, it's sticking nicely. Our next step here is to soften those veins just a little bit. And this is pretty damn easy guys. All we have to do here is duplicate our footage layer, drag it up on top of our veins, hit T to bring up opacity, and drop it down to around 35-40%. to 40%. Next step, adding our fiery glow. To do this is crazy easy. Let's duplicate our vein layer, drag it up to the top like so. From there, let's head up to Effect, Stylize and add a glow. Time to tweak some stuff. We'll change the glow threshold to 5.9, the radius to 33, drop down to glow color and change that to A and B colors. And then you guessed it, we're gonna change both of those A and B colors to a lighter red, like so, and then a darker red, like so. What you're left with is something like this. But we ain't done yet with this one, guys. It's still a little bit harsh, so let's soften it up by heading up to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, and adding a fast blur. And all we have to do here is crank that blur amount up to eight. Looks pretty cool now, eh? And it sounds nuts, but we only have one step left, and this shot is all done. Our last step is animating our veins here to appear like the lightning is surging through our actor. To do this, let's duplicate our bottom footage layer, drag it all the way up to the top, Grab that pen tool, and let's draw a rough, smallish mask around the facial area of our actor. Once our mask is done, follow that up by collapsing our mask menu down and change the transfer mode on the mask to subtract. Let's also feather it out around 80 pixels. Now, heading to the first frame of our comp, we'll then hit the stopwatch on mask path. Now guys, all you have to do here is position your mask off your face to begin with, like so, and then we'll scrub to the end of the comp and place it off the vein area of our face up the top. That way, when we play it back, our mask runs right over our vein area, revealing our cool glowing veins a little piece at a time. 
And that, my friends, is another shot done and dusted. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. Who is it? Lightning delivery for film learnings. Lightning delivery? What the hell? What the hell is a lightning delivery? So that's my take on getting struck by lightning flash stop. It's quick, it's easy, has no third party plugins, which makes both my wallet and yours happy. But that's my time guys. Be sure to stay tuned this week as we'll be advertising our 10,000 subscriber comp for everyone to see. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed the video, please like and share it. If you're new here, strike that subscribe button and stay up to date with all things learning by following me on Facebook and Twitter. This is Isaiah, and until next week, keep learning.